Hi Maud, I saw your question on Twitter. Nice to meet you by the way. I'm Mimi Molly. I know my username looks like it says Meme Molly, but that's just a big coincidence. Worry not, I am the meme expert. So the term meme was coined by this biologist guy, Richard Dawkins, and you probably already know what a gene is. It's what gives me my blonde hair and my grey-green eyes. Um, it's basically a vehicle for genetic information between people. But instead of a person, what if you think about culture as a gigantic organism? Like we don't have green-grey eyes, but we do all share beliefs and customs and trends and even jokes. Memes! So when we talk about memes on the internet, we're usually talking about internet memes. Uh, you've probably seen lolcats or fail videos or some of these guys. You can think about internet memes like visual jokes. So take image macros, for example, like Hipster Kitty or Advice Dog or Success Kid. Uh, they work a little bit like knock-knock jokes, so you can switch out the components and make the joke your own. Then if one of these is really good, then people share it a lot, and then a lot of people see it, and people make their own versions, and then those get spread, and it's so many jokes and all the excitement, and it's just fun. And then there are even crossovers between memes, like you take hipster Ariel's glasses, and you put them on Rebecca Black, and it gives her a new meaning, and it makes a new joke. There's a lot more to talk about in the world of internet memes, so let me know if you have any more questions, and I will gladly answer them for you. Or you can just go to knowyourmeme.com. I hope this was helpful! Let's be friends on Twitter. Bye, guys! It's not that the cats are laughing. They're just like, they're, they're cats that are saying funny things in like bad typed internet speak. They're like, they're funny cats. So she's still Ariel, she's still a little mermaid, but she's wearing those like Ray Wayfarer glasses, which we have associated with um, like a hipster style. And then with the hipster style, we associate smugness and arrogance. So Ariel's all, oh. So they're not ebooks written by horses.